Hi, my name is Moshe Schlissel and I'm the CEO and co-founder of Gardnox. Hi, I'm Jillian Goldberg, VP of Marketing and Investor Relations for Gardnox. We are so excited to be with you today to talk to you about the automotive paradigm shift and the rise of the cybertech tier. It is no secret to anyone that even before this global pandemic, the automotive industry was in the midst of a paradigm shift. In the early 1960s, Thomas Kuhn introduced the world, the concept of the paradigm shift. As it relates to the hard science, however, that term is applied to various industries and we can take it uh, to the mean of profound change and generally accepted of perception in a way of doing things. Paradigm shift brings uh, sweeping change, remaking industries, creating and eliminating millions of jobs, and uh, depending on their reaction, may cost or make uh, companies and uh, investors billions of dollars of loss. In the words of the uh, esteemed Joe Barker, a futurist, when a paradigm shifts, everything goes to zero. Today, most of the world is living in urban areas for the first time in history. Demographics are changing and the consumer tastes are driven by data consumption, video and instant gra graphification. Consumers no longer buy cars for the same reasons as their parents or grandparents. Vehicles are no longer used for distant travel or for driving in open spaces, but are mostly used for several hours a day for commuting to work and running errands after hours. From the horse and buggy to the Ford Model T, to the cars of today, to the cars of tomorrow, the automotive industry is no stranger to this concept. It is no news to anyone that drivers and other mobility users seek to transform the wasted hours of congested commutes into something more enjoyable or at least productive. In the current automotive paradigm shift, we are experiencing the shift to the software-defined vehicle where the driver or passenger is the focal point rather than the vehicle itself. As everything in our daily lives becomes iPhoneized and instantly available at our fingertips, consumers have their own cyberspace identities and profiles have become more data and knowledge driven, we are seeking our smartphones being utilized to fulfill more and more of our needs. From weather reports, to banking, to entertainment, our hunger for knowledge, instant satisfaction, and profound curiosity bring the entire automotive industry to the place it needs to decide. Evolve or die. It's a vicious circle. Smartphones have made people more data-driven, leading to new habits and new desires. Consumers are no longer satisfied with just smartphones. They are now expect more and more of their devices to be smart, including their watches, TVs, and now even their vehicles, all personalized, using app stores and delivering seamless experience across all of their uh, connected lives. Leading OEMs and tier one suppliers are responding to the paradigm shift in mobility by transforming their vehicles from hardware-centric products to software ones, smartphones on wheels, and it's called the software-defined vehicle. Software enables instantaneous personalization of the driving experience, from seat height to temperature, and even car performance. Internet connectivity and over-the-air software updates enables the use of the automotive app stores for continuously customizing and changing car features, as well as dramatically reducing trips to the garage for maintenance. As producers of software-defined vehicles with innovative EE architectures, OEMs recognize that the overall look and system approach is the one which will prevail. The challenge OEMs are facing is that a complete change in a vehicle architecture can cost tens of billions of dollars. So the dilemma is, how do you innovate and evolve when the cost of change might kill you? However, if you do not adapt to this change, then the market and irrelevancy will kill you for sure. The size of the challenge cannot be underestimated. Vehicles are expected to have more than just innovative features that enhance user experience. Due to the complexity of today's vehicles and the limits of in-vehicle networks to support increasingly advanced features, OEMs are expected to completely rethink the EE architecture of the next generation of vehicles. Most of the large OEMs have reorganized their structure to be prepared for the change and to face it, but the new requirements for different technical skill sets and solutions takes time. 
So now the challenge becomes how do you evolve fast enough without losing the tectonic force of paradigm shift? And the answer is they don't have to do it alone. Enter the Cybertech tier. The Cybertech tier is derived from the automotive cyberspace. Automotive cyberspace is defined as the virtual connected car world based on automotive computers and more specifically is an electronic medium used to form a global connected car network to facilitate online communication. In turn, a cybertech tier is a new type of automotive industry sector that provides the technological needed knowledge, experience, and solutions to the various tiers of the already existing and well-known automotive supply chain. Most of the companies that fit into this category come from different industries and therefore bring new and innovative technologies, methodologies, and lessons learned from decades of experience in almost the same genesis-like change that the automotive industry is currently experiencing. Cybertech TIG vendors can provide high-speed computing capabilities, applications-oriented platforms, multiple functionalities in platform design, security by design, advanced communication and ethernet capabilities, consolidations of hardware components and virtualizations of systems, ability for fast updates to upgrade the customized software. Propelled by urbanization, changing demographics, and new technologies, the automotive industry was rapidly changing even before the outbreak of the global pandemic. The pandemic has increased consumer reliance on instant access to information and knowledge, and the need for and focus on self-driven vehicles will rise again on the account of public transportation. With that being said, the pandemic will only increase the demand for change and the paradigm shift will in turn accelerate. Enter Gardnox. Gardnox is the automotive industry's first cyber tech tier supplier that empowers OEMs, tier one suppliers, and the aftermarket. Gardnox provides the needed technologies and solutions that allows its customers to cross the chasm between the needed revolution and affordable evolution, giving the industry the freedom to evolve. Coming from aviation, the Gardnox team has already experienced the going to full connectivity challenge, providing new and ultra-fast communication networks to moving platforms, fast data-based systems using our patented uh, service-oriented architecture, and high-performance computing, all secure by design. Intelligent and high-performance network backbone for fast-moving platforms, Gardnox patented services-oriented architecture, high-performance communication processing with integrated security with patented communication lockdown, flexible and modular software stack, consolidation of e architecture across legacy, present and future components and architecture, cost-effective solutions based on consumer needs and functionalities, scalable and flexible solutions, including OTA, update to vehicle capabilities in real time, including software and hardware updates. Garnox patented hardware and software solutions from secure high-speed vehicle networks that empower the next generation of smart vehicles to meet the change needs of mobility users. The automotive industry needs to be empowered within the freedom to evolve in order to meet changing consumer demands and the needs in real time without uh, sacrificing safety or security. The underlying technological innovations or technology trends need to be adapted at the same pace in order to support the added levels of connectivity, functionality, and customization that these drivers seek especially as the industry shifts towards other EE network setups in order to meet this need, like zonal architecture. Gardnox recently released our Ethernet backbone and zonal architecture setup. Here is a quick sneak peek, but be sure to check out our partner page on the Ecomotion site for more information and to be in touch. Thanks again for your time today. Don't forget to check out our partner page on the Ecomotion portal. Have a good one. Thank you very much, guys.